Oh oui. What's up guys, it's Jeff Chan from MMA Shredded and I'm here with the one and only Icy Mike. Not MMA Shredded. Short intro, I'm gonna be sparring Icy Mike, I'm sure. MMA dad bod. I'm sure all of you guys have been wanting to watch this collaboration. They love seeing you beat people up. They love seeing me get beat up. It's gonna be literally the greatest collab ever. Don't, I don't doubt you. Yeah. You're better than, you're, you're. So Icy Mike starts the round with a good low kick against my cross here. Then he counters my cross with a rear kick in which I brushed and he circles out. Here he throws a cross rear body kick combination, landing the kick, and because he stayed long and elongated his body, leaning back, keeping his distance, I couldn't reach him with my counter cross. He then intercepts my left hook with an inside low kick, and again, I missed my counter cross because he was staying long, but I closed the distance this time with my double step low kick. Here, I see Mike under catches my left kick and goes for a beautiful cartwheel kick. If he went full speed, he definitely would have landed that. Switch kick from me here and a beautiful cross check Muay Thai style by Icy Mike. So I switch my stance again to fake. Icy Mike takes the bait and cross checks again. And with him stationary and standing on one leg, I ran into my hip sweep. Lots of left kicks from me because I know Icy Mike is good at getting into the pocket and boxing. So I tried to intercept him with my lead body kick or at least threaten him with a kick to keep him back. The left kick also sets up my hip sweep, but this time I see Mike said, nope, not a second time, but I'll get him again with it. I continue to mess with his head by switching my stance. He thought maybe I'll hip sweep again, but I darted in with my cross to my double step low kick. And a nice cross to low kick by Icy Mike. And a really cool Bruce Lee action movie sidekick here. Back fist to the body, jumping sidekick. Perfect extension and control as well. I pressured forward and he flicks out his front kick. Look at the posture of his torso and the flexibility he gets on the kick. A good way to threaten me and keep me back. Here I trapped his lead hand and into my cross. And as he countered punched, I leaned back the same way he did and intercepted him with my lead body kick. And look, I see Mike and landed a hook and double step low kick by throwing his liver hook and stepping his rear leg forward at the same time, followed by a second step 45 degrees to the side with his lead foot and into his low kick. I see Mike pressures forward into my pocket. I tie up with him palm on bicep and he gets me with a nice rear uppercut, but I get him back with an exit cross. Here I intercepted Icy Mike's overhand with my 360 block, aka palm on bicep and into my rear knee, but didn't extend just out of respect. I catch his kick here and he transitions into another cartwheel kick. And of course that reminds me to do one back at him. Dart and cross here or hook I think by Icy Mike and pressures into my pocket but I tie up palm on bicep again. As I try to counter punch he intercepts me with a left body kick. Perfect shin right across the body making a wall stopping me from moving forward. <laughs> A nice under catch by Icy Mike. He could have swept me, but chose not to. And I get him a second time with my hip sweep. A Dutch block by Icy Mike here and into his cross counter, and I slipped it. But he makes the adjustment later on and catches me with the exact counter. Another hand trap, but into my double step low kick. I tilted my head forward here, hoping Icy Mike would jab. And when he did, I slipped to the inside and into my corkscrew cross. How you feeling? I can't. Hey, I have a question. Is Jeff, is Jeff James pretty good? He's really good, and I'm gonna tell you the truth. So we, me and Seth, have always wondered, like who, like I wasn't 100 sure. Is he like a dickhead in sparring? You know, like it's, it's a little hard to tell. But then once you meet him, like in real life as a real person, like it's definitely not him. No, it's definitely not him. Plenty of opportunities this weekend he, or this week. He could have ended us rightly, you yeah. know? Yeah. But he's gracious, gracious sparring partner. Yeah. Gracious sparring partner. I want to be known, I didn't think you were a dickhead. He's like really good. But he's definitely being nice. Uh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> he's definitely being yeah. nice. Let's be clear. <laughs> um, like, so, the, hey. th the thing where he punches you, and then he like kicks you too, and then he punches you again, yeah. that's really good. And I was always very impressed with that. What I realized earlier is that when he also wrestles you, yeah, that's scary. Yeah, and guess what? He's shredded. He's MMA shredded. I was gonna say 
when he punches, kicks you, and wrestles you, and he's shredded. That's the MMA. That's like his shredded. Yeah. I see. I see where you where you're going with that. I see, my... <laughs> Yeah. Touche. Um. No, very gracious. Like yeah. literally, all those crosses. He's stopping. Like they're touching the hairs on my nose. <laughs> There's a couple times yeah. where I saw him go. Yeah, he got me. Yeah. He got me. Same. What's really frustrating is that head. The way he moves his head down. Like I know he's gonna do it. Mm -hmm. I know he's gonna do it. Mm -hmm. But it's just like well timed. <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get him this one. I gotta figure it out now. You get him this one. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta figure it out. Is he gonna tie his hands behind his back? <laughs> I'm gonna tie his hands behind his back. Oh. Yeah. Here I slipped this punch and got the double unhooks, but I see Mike did a good job at escaping the position. In the pocket here, he lands a nice body head combo. Mike continuing to try to get in my pocket to box, but I kept him at bay with my long guard. And when your left arm is down, you can use the shoulder roll to deflect the incoming cross instead of parrying. I like to use head movement as a second line of defense. So if your hand happens to be down, instead of bringing your hand back to your face to parry, you would just use head movement. My stabilizer malfunctioned here, but good thing there are four other YouTubers here and tons of cameras to catch at multiple angles. So quickly we used another camera. Here I backed up with my head forward to bait Icy Mike into punching, and when he did, I slipped and threw my cross. This time, Mike backs away and baits. He intercepts me with an inside low kick, followed by a lead teep. And back to my camera. So we get into a good flow of boxing and head movement, and I see Mike decides to ruin the flow and remind me of his up kick, which could have been a knockout Anderson Silva style. Remember earlier where Icy Mike Dutch blocked in, into his cross, but I slipped it? Here he gets me by changing the tempo and immediately throwing a really nice straight cross down the middle. Here, Mike parries my jab and into his cross, but I cross parried it and into my check left hook. I see Mike pressures forward with boxing again, and I paired his jab as I switched my stance into my left long knee. Again, no extension, just out of respect, and into my follow-up cross. A nice slip and cross here by AC Mike. Mike pressures forward once again, and I tied up palm on bicep. Mike here with good sportsmanship, acknowledging that my kick landed before he caught it and let go, also accepting that you can't catch a head kick like that. Often with beginners, they will catch a high kick the wrong way after the head kick lands. Then they will continue to spar as if they didn't get head kicked. It is unfair because a head kick thrown with power could have ended the fight or stopped them from catching it. A quick jab here, and anticipating that he would counterpunch, I was ready to slip and counter. Then a triple step low kick by Icy Mike. One step too many, but I appreciate him for trying my style. And a nice intercepting teep by Icy Mike. Mike tries to fake my double step low kick to long me here, which reminded me to do it myself. Got it! Got it! <laughs> I'm the way up here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm super honored to have finally met and trained with Icy Mike. I have been a huge fan for quite some time and he has ignored my comments a few times so I thought he didn't like me. Turns out he is one of the most genuine and cool people to hang out with. The guy is full of knowledge and experience. I actually learned a lot about myself and martial arts in general from just hanging out and chatting with him. He may be smaller and getting a little older but this guy is also very strong and has that old man strength. He surprised me when I first shook his hand. I'm sure you are already following him, but if you aren't already, check out his channel at Hard to Hurt or check out the link in my description box. My camera missed this shot, so here's a shot from Mike's camera.
Y'all are hard to keep up with. Thank you. Ramsey Dewey, you're up next. Jeff, I don't see how you got anything left after what I did, Steve.